Hi Pisces. Thanks for showing up to watch your December love reading. This is for Pisces Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Um, also if you're spying on a Pisces. So um, I'm going to say your moon sign usually resonates the best. If you don't know how to figure out your moon sign, there's a link in the description box below. Before we get started with the general theme, um, these guys popped out and they just say, you know what, some things have come to a close, they've come to an end, so you can start a new chapter. So get out there, start talking to people, start creating this new chapter. And it's, to me, I actually, like, as I said that, Spirit's like, no, it was a book. <laughs> it was a book. You're starting a new book, you know, not even a new chapter, a new book of your life. And they're like, so get out there, talk to people, meet people, communicate. Um, or even put it out there to Spirit, what is it that you desire in this next book in your in your series, right? So that might, that's kind of inspirational actually. So what is the overall theme for you in the month of December in regards to love for Pisces? All right, so this is interesting um, because I did this, I did this two ways because the first message was very, very specific. So I said, okay, but for everybody else, what is the other thing here? And so what they're saying here is, um, some of you, not with your soulmate. Now that might be because you're single, right? But some of you are coupled and this person isn't for you. And they're like, you're pretty aware of this. You know, but you're just ignoring this. And who was it that had this? I think it was Scorpio that some of them had that too. It might be a water kind of energy throughout the month of December. Now, if this doesn't, if this doesn't, if this isn't you, okay? This is a very specific message for those of you who are coupled. Um, what they're saying is, Again, with two cups here in reverse, so the energy is still similar. It's very much the same. It's like your emotions are out of balance, okay? Um, this could be a hormonal imbalance. This could be a brain chemical imbalance, but it could just be like, you know, the fact that we're in a Mercury retrograde and we have to examine things from the past that make us sad. Um, but they're like, overall, it's kind of making you get down on yourself and not feel very good about yourself, not very successful. Now, the trouble is that you could be living in that. You could be like really sucked into a negative vortex by focusing on those things as opposed to focusing on the two cups again, okay, which is like a soulmate relationship, um, the things that are good, right? So maybe you're in a soulmate relationship, okay, and you're focused on all the problems that are in it instead of focusing on the fact that you're with your fucking soulmate. And a lot of people aren't. That's why they're watching this video. So express gratitude for that is what they're saying. Because if you don't, this is in danger. Because fives are all about drama. And you know what? When you're over here focusing on what you don't have, instead of expressing gratitude for the things that are good that you do, somebody can walk up right behind you and kick those over too. So just a little warning. Now, what are the things that are going well for you in the month of December in regards to um, growing more love in your life, whether you're trying to attract it or strengthen it? And they say, um, you know, your, your defense against unhappiness, like when you see that it's starting to set in, you're like, wait, 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 I can take control of this. And that's you being that emperor that I showed you. The other thing that's working for you is that, um, you know, you're very strong on your own, but you do have support around you, whether you recognize it or not, whether that's a listening ear, um, whether that's a YouTube video that's gonna help you to navigate some of the feelings you're having, um, articles online or whatever. They say this month you not, might not feel particularly connected to spirit, but spirit's there. It's just you have to look for it, you know? So you might have to put in a little bit of extra effort this month. Now, um, what are the challenges that you'll be facing in regards to love? And they say for some of you, this is um, going to be about marriage, okay? Marriage in specific. Like in a Mercury retrograde, it makes sense that delays in getting a contract for marriage or something like that um, could be a challenge, right? But in, in other terms, just in general, like the concept and the construct of it are hard. Um, for others of you, <laughs> they're saying that it's going to be like, really pampering yourself and caring for yourself when you're on your own. Now, because you're understanding, remember with that card where it's like, ah, oh, I just don't feel very good about myself and all that stuff. You might be taking that to the extreme and not really, you know, like you might think, oh, I want to get my nails done. And you're like, but why? Like, I don't deserve it. Like, and throwing yourself a big pity party where you get sucked into that negative vortex that I said. So try your best not to get sucked into that. And if you have to take care of yourself, you know, like, um, 
by being a little bit extravagant in one way or another, buying yourself a new outfit, getting your hair done or something like that, um, like little retail therapy isn't a bad idea this month, just not to extremes, right? Now, what are the things that are going to help us get through these challenges and bring in the most love? And they say clearing up confusion. Your energy is all over the place this month, okay? Um, and so trying to nail in that area of focus. Now, how are you going to do that? You're going to look for similarities with other people in regards to what they want in the general like long-term outcome. Because what's happening here is, for example, if you're partnered, you and your partner, you want to... Um, reach a certain goal. You want to buy a house, okay? And one of you is like, well, we should save this much money. And the other person's like, well, we should pay off our student loans first. And the other one's like, well, we should do this. And you have different ideas on how you're going to achieve the same goal, okay? But that's not where your mind needs to be. You both just need to focus that you have the same goal in the first place because otherwise you're going to be bickering and arguing for no reason when you really don't have to be okay and that's how you're gonna narrow that focus in now if you're single it's like okay I'm meeting this person I'm meeting that person like there's so many options what, how do I know like which person I want to spend my time with my energy with like which one is worth it and they're saying look at those things too though even though you might not have gone out together yet spent a lot of time talking ask them oh what is it that you want long term ideally what does your long term partner look like so that you are on the same page because otherwise you're just wasting your time and you're scattering your energy even more um so they're saying that this month um you know, you might not be having like tons of deep feelings, except for if they're critical of yourself. So just keep that in mind. Like if you're feeling anything intensely and that's likely to be what it is, um, just to try to remember that this is okay. It's okay if December is a little bit boring because that's better than being like sunk into depression. Now, what are the things that are going to help you get through some of these challenges? They say talking to other people. And then not viewing everything as a challenge. When you're in this mindset that's just going to kind of creep in because of the Mercury retrograde, you might be viewing everything as a mountain, right, when it's really a molehill. And so they say, like, really express what you're thinking, how you're feeling. Be, be really clear, too, with your when you're meeting people, like, what it is that you want, what it is that you desire. Um, they say, like, you have to take the action to do that it's very very important because if you don't you're just gonna be more confused like in the example that you meet somebody new and you meet them online okay so you're talking about hey maybe we're a potential love match we should get together whatever and um, in talking about this if it's clear that they don't want children and you do they're not gonna be a good match for you and so why are you gonna waste your time you're going to start to date, you're going to start to like the person, and then you're going to realize later after you've grown this attachment, like, oh, well, this is really important to me, and I thought I could change your mind. No. No. You know, if, if they change their mind, they can come back to you later. But be very, very open and honest, because otherwise you're just going to confuse yourself and create a lot of if-then scenarios and work yourself into an anxiety tizzy, is basically the message. So... What is your affirmation for the month of December to help you bring more love into your life? Mega empathy. Um, you're feeling and understanding the emotions of others in the service of love. So that's a really good way to relate to other people and create new bonds as you're doing that. Because this is going to be a very important month for communication for you. And even though it's a hard month for communication for a lot of people because there are communication chasms um, with the retrograde, they're like, for you... The, just getting out there and talking to people is going to be really, really big in bringing in new love. And if you're already in a part in a partnership, being very, very clear in communicating what it is that you desire, what it is that you need, what it is that you want, or what your expectations are, are going to be is going to be huge for you in the month of December to kind of grow more love. So that's December. Can't wait to see you in January. Love and light.